Hey everyone, this is Lasora, and in this tutorial, we're going back to the 1930s using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. So now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10, let's go ahead and create a new project. Name your project. Go to the video format by clicking here. Select Custom and then set the resolution to 640 by 480p. Let's set the frame rate at 24p. Now that's all done, let's hit OK. Next, select your footage and drag it down to your timeline. Head over to the video inspector. Under transform, go ahead and scale the footage so that it fits the frame. Now that's done, let's bring out the color board by clicking this color inspector icon. You can also find this in the Fix Browser tool called Color Board or Color Correction. Moving on, in the Color Inspector, select the Saturation tab by clicking here. Bring down the overall global or master saturation by sliding this knob all the way down. Once that's done, let's go ahead and adjust the exposure by clicking this tab. Bring down the shadows to right around here. Boost the midtones as well as the highlights. Next, bring out the Fix Browser. Go down to the search bar and then type in Aged Film. Double click on that or drag and drop it onto your footage. Head back to the video inspector by clicking this icon. In the Aged Film tool section, set the style to realistic grain. In the color adjust, slide the knob all the way to the left. Leave the grain at 100. Bring down the scratches to 4. Increase the dust to the maximum as well as the hairs. Set the jitter amount as well as the jitter variance to roughly around 0.03. Leave the focus variance to 0 and set the brightness variance to around 0.06. Last but not least, increase the random seed to its maximum by sliding the knob all the way to the right. Now that's all done, head down to the Fix Browser. In the search bar, type in Add Noise. Drag and drop it onto your footage or simply double clicking on it. Head back to the video inspector, under add noise, set the type to Gaussian noise film grain. Go back down to the fixed browser search bar and then type in Gaussian blur. Double click on it or drag it and drop it onto your footage. Head back to the video inspector, under Gaussian, bring the amount down to roughly around 3.5. Last but not least, let's add some vignette to our footage. Set the blur amount to 3, the darken to 0.78, and the size up to 1.5. You could also adjust this right on top of your footage using a mouse or a touchpad. So that's it for today's video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial somewhat useful or perhaps interesting. <laughs> I've also made a Final Cut Pro tutorial playlist dedicated to old film looks slash effects that I think you guys might find it helpful. I'll link it down below so definitely check it out. Anyways, good luck with your project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!